What's up everybody, Mike here, Baseball Collector again. Uh, wanted to do a contest response. Trying to get caught up a little bit on all the kind of awesome contests going on on YouTube. And the one I want to do tonight is for Ray from Philly. My boy Ray. Ray and I talk on the phone several times a week. I really enjoy talking to him. And he reached an epic milestone of 1,000 subscribers. So congratulations, Ray. You absolutely deserve it. Your channel's awesome. I love you, man. And uh, he wanted us to create an all-time team. And let me just say, really, really hard to do that. It's very difficult to pick the greatest players at each position, considering how many greats have played this game over the years and so over the decades. And so I'm going to do my best to put together my all-time team. And so I have uh, card examples for all of them. Let's get started. Every team needs to start with a manager. You got to have somebody running the show. And so mine is Connie Mack. He's manager for the Philadelphia Athletics for a really, really long time, uh, like 50 years or something crazy. Hall of Famer, absolutely. And he's my manager for my all-time team, Connie Mack. Got to have some starters to get the game going. Pitching-wise, my first one is Mr. Walter Johnson, and it seems only fitting to show a all-time baseball great saying the greatest pitcher, right-handed pitcher. So who am I to argue with Kellogg's? Uh, I totally agree with Kellogg's that he's the greatest all-time right-handed pitcher. Walter Johnson was just uh, insane, over 400 wins. You know, some crazy 110 shutouts or something stupid, just amazing pitcher dominant in his era next up is who i consider to be the greatest left-handed starting pitcher of all time and that is warren spawn you could definitely argue for sandy koufax uh but to me spawn won what 370 plus games 371 games something like that most wins by a left-handed pitcher i think uh just Unbelievable longevity and excellence for a really long time. Koufax was insanely dominant for six seasons, but Spawn did it for a much longer period. Here's a beautiful 53 Bowman color of Warren Spawn. Right-handed relief pitcher. I'm going to fall into the same category as everyone else, and it's without question Mariona Rivera. Incredible class. Just a uh, Great guy, amazing pitcher, dominant. Uh, here's an autograph of his on a 2004 Topps Cracker Jack and a Jim Mint 10. I love his autograph. So some of these are autograph cards. Some of them are just cards. So there you go. Mariano Rivera, right-handed pitcher. Next, greatest left-handed reliever. I'm going to say Billy Wagner. A lot of people have said Billy Wagner, and I think he threw 100 miles an hour uh, in his little bitty frame, just incredibly dominant. This is an immaculate collection autograph. I think he's definitely going to get in the Hall of Fame. It may take a few years, but uh, he's absolutely deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. And uh, just the best left-handed reliever in history, in my opinion. Next up, we're going to go with, uh, again, me and Kellogg's agree on several of these. Lou Gehrig as the greatest all-time first baseman. Uh, how can you argue against Lou Gehrig as being the best first baseman ever? Had his career not been cut short, he would have had, you know, three, four, five more seasons of excellence, and who knows what his career numbers would have been. But he did things on a baseball field in terms of hitting and just uh, absolutely insane. Uh, my favorite all-time player is Lou Gehrig, and uh, he's my all-time greatest first baseman. Greatest second baseman of all time. Man, Kellogg's is smart. H uh, Rogers Hornsby. Just an amazing ball player. Uh, hit over 400 several times and was part of the Cardinals and several other teams, but near mint to mint eight here on this card. Just beautiful card. Greatest second baseman ever. Greatest third baseman. I'm about to make Ray happy because, in my opinion, it's Michael Jack Schmidt. 
Uh, I considered Eddie Matthews. I considered uh, Pie Trainer. I considered uh, George Brett. But to me, combining power and just dominance of the game, defense, it's Mike Schmidt. I actually considered Adrian Beltre too, but Mike Schmidt is the guy. This is a Jim Mint 10 autograph from uh, Panini Pastime Signatures. There you go. Beautiful card there. My all-time greatest shortstop is not Derek Jeter. It's not Cal Ripken. It's certainly not Ozzie Smith. It is John Honus Wagner. Go look at his numbers, and you will agree with me that he was the greatest shortstop of all time. Just an unbelievable ball player. First ballot Hall of Famer. For, I mean, like, first time Hall of Famer. First class. Unbelievable. This is a very cool Pirates card from 1948 Leaf. This is part of the 300 Great Baseball Cards by Mike Payne. And just thought I would show it off. Showing off a few cards that maybe people haven't seen in my collection before. If they haven't been watching my videos very long. But this is a uh, cool card of who I consider to be the all-time greatest shortstop. Thomas Wagner. Left field, very tough. Uh, God, so many positions were very, very tough. But to me, there's no one like the Splendid Splinter, Ted Williams, for left field. Uh, God, so many guys, you know, Barry Bonds for sure, but Barry Bonds, best player I ever saw, but I also never saw Ted Williams. And so this is a 1951 Bowman in a VG three and a half, beautiful card. Love the the swing, the painting, all of it. Just this is a beautiful baseball card of Mr. Ted Williams, greatest left fielder in my opinion, greatest center fielder. Wow, another tough one. Uh, I considered Cobb here. I considered um, Ken Griffey Jr. I can, yeah, so many players. I can Joe DiMaggio, Mickey Mantle. But to me, when it comes down to everything, it's Willie Mays. Uh, Five-tool player, speed, arm, defense, hitting, 660 career home runs. And he lost one or two seasons to the, to the military service. I mean, it's just unbelievable what Willie Mays was able to accomplish in New York mostly, then San Francisco uh, with the Giants. So just, he's the best, uh, Willie Mays. This one's pretty funny. Uh, right field, it's Babe Ruth. I really wanted to put Hank Aaron here and then just make Babe Ruth the greatest ever, as Kellogg says here. But, you know, he, he's a right fielder, and I think Hank Aaron certainly should be considered for this. But it's a beautiful 72 Kellogg's and a near mint to mint eight. And I love it, just says greatest ever on this card uh, because they got that right. For sure and that hasn't changed in the you know 46 years since 1972 Babe Ruth is still the greatest player ever and in my opinion the greatest right fielder ever the next one I have is I have no card it's gonna stay blank because I hear for catcher uh, I considered Yvonne Rodriguez I considered Mike Piazza Johnny Bench Yogi Berra Mickey Cochran so many great catchers in this league and to me when you put it all together, the greatest catcher that has ever played baseball is Josh Gibson. And he played in the Negro Leagues. He was considered the Black Babe Ruth. I don't have any cards of him that are slabbed. Uh, in fact, the only card I have him is an 83 Donruss Hall of Fame Heroes card, but I just couldn't find it and put my hands on it. Josh Gibson is, in my opinion, the greatest catcher ever. And I haven't heard anybody mention him, and that's kind of a shame because... He was just truly a great in his time. Even the Negro League players said, who's the greatest player they've ever seen? And so many of them would say Josh Gibson. So he is my all-time greatest catcher. Last, I got to have a DH because I uh, can't have pitchers hitting. Not in, not in my greatest team. And so to me, the, the, oops, the greatest player to ever play DH is Frank Thomas. Uh, this is his rookie card from 1990 Tops. I don't know how on earth that's a near mint to mint eight autograph and not a 10, but I didn't grade it, but it's a beautiful card of his rookie card. I love it that he's in the Auburn uniform. And uh, I just thought Frank Thomas had an amazing career uh, with mainly the White Sox and was the greatest DH ever. It wasn't uh, 
you know, Edgar Martinez or because I know Frank Thomas played a lot of first base too, but the second half of his career he was a DH uh, almost exclusively. So Frank Thomas, designated hitter. So there you go, guys. That's my uh, all-time team. That's what I got to show you tonight. Again, congratulations, Ray, on reaching 1,000 subs. Hope you uh, like my all-time team, and hope you guys have a good one, and keep collecting.